Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about installing Java on your computer. So we're actually going to install everything that we need to create our Java programs. And that's going to be something called the Java Developer Kit or JDK. And then after we install that, I also want to talk to you guys about choosing a text editor for Java. So there's a bunch of different options to choose from. Um, and basically, these are just like programs that will help you to write your Java programs. So I'm going to show you guys like what some of the most popular ones are. And then we're actually going to install one called Eclipse. So the first order of business is to install the Java developer kit. And it's basically just software that we need in order to start writing programs in Java. So I'm going to go over here to my web browser and I'm just basically going to Google search JDK download. And the first link should be this website, oracle.com. And this is where you want to download it from. So basically I'm just going to click this one and this should bring me to a page. Um, and if you want the actual URL, it's oracle.com forward slash tech network forward slash Java forward slash Java SE forward slash downloads. So this page has a couple options here and you can see here it says Java platform JDK. And right now it's in version nine. That's probably going to change if you're watching this video like far in the future. But this is what we want to download. So we want to download this Java platform JDK. So I'm just going to click the download button. You'll see that it brings us over to this other page. Essentially, all we have to do is just accept this license agreement. And now there's a bunch of different files. So I'm using a Mac. So I'm going to click the Mac option. But there's options for all these different operating systems. So we'll just click this guy and that should start downloading. So once your download is finished, I'm actually just going to head over to my downloads folder and you can just double click on the file you got and this should open up a installer. So I'm just going to click the installer and here we just have this like JDK installer window. We can just kind of click through here and just install it on your computer. Once you finish the installation, you can just close it. And now we basically have everything that we need to start writing our Java programs. So the next step is actually finding an environment where we can write those programs. So actually you can use any text editor you want to write your Java programs. You could use something like text edit or notepad, but a lot of times, especially when you're just starting off with Java, you want to use a special text editor called an IDE. An IDE stands for integrated development environment. It's basically just a special text editor that will help you to write your Java code more efficiently. And it'll just kind of like help you along the way when you're writing Java. So there's basically three like really popular Java IDEs out there. So three popular programs that are really like targeting Java users. There's one called Eclipse. There's one called NetBeans and there's one called IntelliJ. And all three of these programs work really well. You know, a lot of people use each one of them. There's pros and cons to each one. In this course, we're going to be using a IDE called Eclipse. And Eclipse is one of the most popular uh, Java IDEs. And it's the one that I use the most, so I'm most comfortable using it. And that's kind of why um, I'm just going to use it in this course. Uh, so if you really, you know, if you want to follow along exactly with everything we're doing in the course, go ahead and download Eclipse. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But if you want to try out some of those other IDEs as well, there's no problem doing that. You should still be able to follow along basically with what I'm doing in the course. So I'm going to show you guys uh, how to download Eclipse. I'm just going to, again, go over to my web browser and we can basically just type in Eclipse download. And you can see here it's just eclipse.org forward slash downloads. So there's a bunch of different versions of Eclipse and they give the versions different names. As of right now, like October 2017, when I'm filming this video, the latest release is Eclipse Oxygen. That might change. But basically, you just want to download the latest version. So I'll just click download 64 bit. And again, we just have this download link over here. So that's going to start downloading. And once that download is finished, we can just open it up. So over here, and this should bring us like this Eclipse installer. So I'm going to click this and we'll open it. Now we should get all of these different options. So there's a bunch of different options for versions of Eclipse that we can install. Um, really what you want is just Eclipse IDE for Java developers. This is the most simple version of Eclipse and you don't need any of these if you're just starting off with uh, Java. So we'll just click this one and you can just click the install button. 
Now I actually already have Eclipse installed on my computer, but as long as you just click that install button, it's gonna install on your computer and you should be able to access it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open Eclipse. And as long as you're able to open Eclipse and everything's up and running, then you should be good to go. And here we get this Eclipse IDE for Java developers home screen. So now that everything is installed, you're ready to start writing your first Java program. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Java Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.